I don't think it's a coincidence. It's, it's logical when you have your medical background from a profession, you also engage in health areas, in, in politics. And uh, for me, that is important from the beginning of my mandate many years ago. But it was of particular importance in this COVID-19 crisis. I went back to medicine and the most impressive uh, moment was when my colleague doctor that I, I worked with in Germany, fortunately, we didn't really have an overwhelming of the health system, but a brother of my colleague uh, worked in the Netherlands and in April there was quite some tension in the Dutch hospitals and when he described how difficult this COVID-19 disease is to be treated and how kind of challenging the situation also for the medical staff is, I was really impressed and uh, that's one of the reasons why I engage so much against this horrible disease. Um, we can influence uh, the politics, not only in the EU. Uh, I'm, uh, I was a member of the party board in Germany and I have very good relationship, for example, to our national minister of health, who is by coincidence also the president of the council now. And we are in constant dialogue also on national issues. But I would say the most important thing is that we can do better at European level. The European Parliament always asked for more action and there was a kind of Pavlov reflex from the member states, institutions, ministers, and so on, that Europe has no competence, which is not true. When you look at the treaty, the common market, 114 health is an important thing, even in the Charter, and we have a, a specific article on health, which is not true for many other important parts of the policy. So there, there are responsibilities for the member states, but there's much more that we can do. The European Parliament was always ready. We are now more ready than ever before. And I think it's time that the member states react. And I'm very optimistic that, especially under the German presidency, we will achieve much more to, to, to meet the expectations of our citizens. I'm already 55 years old, so I'm not a digital native, but I engaged very much over the last years uh, to, to, to be active on social media, so mainly Twitter, Instagram and uh, Facebook, but also sometimes YouTube. I think it is important. We need to use the traditional, traditional media, but more and more, especially young people are spending 100% on social media, so that's why if politicians want to play a role also in the young generation, we need to engage in social media. I think it's, uh, it's important to connect both. You know, I always say I'm not the spokesperson, um, I'm a politician. So if there is no substance, I'm, I'm not willing to sell anything. It's important to act and then to communicate and not only to communicate. But I'm very happy that, uh, for example, on the issue of cancer, we got a broad support from the whole parliament and now also from the European Commission. We started with an initiative of our chairman in the EPP group, Manfred Weber, which I very much supported two years ago. And we did also a social uh, media campaign. And I'm very grateful that many, many colleagues that has never been in health issues um, that have never been involved in health issues are, are now supporting it in the um, social media. But this is based on a solid plan, not only campaign, but we have analyzed what can Europe do? Where do we have the legal competence? Where can we really fulfill the expectations? And then started to communicate. We need to reconnect Europe to the people. Uh, I think um, most of the Commission um, officials and most of the MEPs have very good intention, but if we don't convince the general public that the European project cannot be successful, 
And that's why I like uh, what some EU officials do, not enough, I think, but also commission officials should go back to where they come from. I, I met an official that once a year goes to his school where he was educated. And I think every commission official, every member of the Brussels bubble should do because uh, we are doing a lot of good things here, but if we don't reconnect to the citizens, we cannot be successful in the long run.